The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. <laughs> Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. Jesus said to them, When you pray, say, Father, holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us. And do not subject us to the final test. This is the good news of our salvation. This version of the Our Father, which is somewhat different from that of St. Matthew, contains two types of prayer which we should make part of our lives. The prayer of acclamation and the prayer of petition. When we realize the blessings that we have received, we should bless the Lord claim him, show our gratitude to him because he has been so good to us. So we do not begin our Christian prayer first with petition. Even in the sacred liturgy, we don't begin with petitions until later in the liturgy the celebration of the Holy Eucharist, prayers and petition, we should begin with gratitude, acknowledging God as the source of every blessing that we have received. St. Paul tells us, what do you have that you have not received? And so the Christian understands the meaning of stewardship. Time, talent, treasure, our gifts, our health, all the blessings that we have received, especially our faith, being baptized, celebrating Christian worship and prayer. We cannot pay for these, and <clears throat> we <clears throat> have not earned them. We do not deserve them. We should try to assimilate and understand the fundamental revelation of the gratitude to God. Holy be your name, your kingdom to use the expression of St. Matthew, version of the Our Father, your will be done. We must remember that God does not love us because we are lovable, but we are lovable because God loves us. This is what we mean by acclamation and benediction praising God in gratitude for creating us, for guiding us, and for loving us in the Lord Jesus. But also, we trust God, we rely on Him, 
and we know that he will take care of us if we entrust ourselves to him. And therefore, we go to the second part of the Our Father, which is the prayer of petition. And what do we ask for according to Jesus when he answered the question of his disciple to teach him to pray? He begins, give us this day our daily bread. The concrete needs that we have in this life because we are on pilgrimage and we need to be fed by God. That's why we say graces before meals. We have to be fed by Jesus as the Jews, as the Israelites rather, were fed and their pilgrimage through desert of Sinai after they were freed from Egypt. But giving us the daily bread is not restricted to our physical needs, to our food that we need to survive and become, remain healthy. It also refers to the Holy Eucharist. Give us this bread. Nurture us with yourself in close, intimate relationship. So it is ideal if we can receive Jesus daily. And we pray for that in the Our Father. But going to the heart of the matter, in Christian petition, we ask Jesus through, or rather the Our Father, through Jesus, to forgive us our sins. But there's a condition that perhaps we do not reflect enough about, and that condition is this, forgive us as we forgive others or because we forgive others. In other words, we are telling our, our Father, the Father of Jesus and our Father, that we are going to be get, become his children, imitate him, his loving forgiveness. So we do not ask to be healed, to be liberated, to be reconciled unless we are willing to do the same. We thirdly ask that he will keep us from temptations where we might disappoint him we might fail not only to forgive but to follow his law of love and so the our father contains all the aspects of christian prayer praying to the father first of all in gratitude acclaiming him honoring him and then in the context of honoring him we ask him for what we need. But our basic needs are not only our daily bread, but the gift of forgiveness as we forgive others. For we promise that we will imitate our Heavenly Father and imitate Jesus, who on the cross said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Jesus, who forgave Peter for denying him, and there is no doubt that Jesus would have forgiven Judas if he had asked him. So, as we pray the Our Father, we are deepening our belongingness to the divine family.
God is our Father, Mother Mary is our mother, and Jesus is our brother. And we are all united, bonded, and enlightened by the Holy Spirit. Thank you.